Okay, B15, problem number 11. Directions are solve by factor. Okay, so I have 3x squared plus 3x minus 36 equals 0. Uh, the first thing I want to do is set that to 0, which it already is. Okay, sometimes it, it won't say equal 0, so I have to set it to 0. In this case, it's set equal to 0. Uh, so my next step is to work through that factoring process. Okay, the factoring process, first step will always be looking for the greatest common factor. All right, the greatest common factor in this case would be 3. They all have a factor of 3, so I can factor that out. All right, I ask myself if I pull if I factor out of three of each of those terms, what I what would I be left with? You should get that. Factor three out of three x squared, you get x squared. Uh, factor three out of three x, you get x. Factor three out of thirty six, you get twelve. It stays negative. Okay, so the next thing I look for is um, how to factor this thing. Right, this is a, a quadratic trinomial, an x squared term, an x term, a number term, and this is one of those ones. It's a little bit easier. My a term is uh, 1. Okay, so I don't really have to go through that whole AC method. I can save myself a little bit of trouble and go right to the linear factors. Okay, because the numbers that go here and here are going to be multiplied together to give me negative 12 and add together to give me the, the B term of 1. Um, I know to get x squared, it's just going to be x times x, right, to give me the x squared. And then I get to negative 12, it's going to be uh, 4 times negative 3, because they have to multiply together to give me negative 12, and add together to give me 1. So it's going to be a positive 4 and a negative 3. Okay, so I don't have to work through that AC method. I can just get that. Uh, so the next step is going to be to set my linear factors in zero, to 0 to solve. Okay, so I don't have to worry about the 3, because that can't ever be 0. Just the terms that have, the factors that have an x in it. That is, set x plus 4 to 0 and x minus 3 to 0. And then I can solve those linear equations and I get my solutions. Minus 4, minus 4, x equals negative 4, plus 3, plus 3, x equals 3. And there's my solutions. Okay, so that follows my factoring process in order to get my two solutions. And after that, I am done. Remember, uh, so do the rest of your homework. Got to do your homework in here in order to pass the course.